Hello there and welcome to a brand new series of Strike It Lucky. As you can see, we've got a great new set and we've got some great new contestants. In fact, they were too great. We've got some people here at the beginning of this very first show that we think, well, you're going to really enjoy. So what we've done, we're going to leave all the chat in, come back to the show later, we'll rejoin the show there. But for now, just sit back and watch these, especially two women at the end. Here they are. Hi, Martin. Hello. Nice to meet you. Hello. And Kim, Hello. welcome to the show. And whereabouts are you from, the two of you? Ashford in Middlesex. And you're married? Yes. Yeah, we are, yeah. You're both married. Any children? We have one. She's Little eight girl. months old. Sorry? A little girl. A little girl? Yeah. Yeah. Well, what so do you do? Do shift work? No, I'm an electrician. Electrician? Self-employed. Well, electricians do shift work, don't they? Well, <laughs> sort of. All right, love. <laughs> How are you? Okay. I'll be down in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> the lady up the end there is smiling at me, you all right? Okay. Yeah, got a feeling I'm going to have a little while with you. <laughs> um, what do you what, you're an electrician, yep. and what about right. you, Kim? Do you do anything? Just a housewife. Just a housewife. Mother, yes. Hard work, enough, isn't it? Yes. Very hard work, you know what I work. Go oblige me, <laughs> eh? Well, what about what happened had, when you met? Did you... Well, I was working <coughs> behind the bar. Your bar, barmaid? Yeah. Yes. Um, no. Yeah, I was, I was down the pub one night with a few friends. A, a friend of mine said to me, he just heard I'd lost one of my previous girlfriends. Oh. So he said, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh... But well, he came in and said, dear, might have just heard yeah, you've lost one of your, uh, your previous. previous girlfriends. Yeah, that's right, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's sort of so, conversation uh... we all have in pubs, isn't it? <laughs> right, he said, I just heard you've lost your previous right, girlfriend. Yeah. What are you going to do about it? Basically, yeah. You said so, to you. Yeah. So, so you I, said to I him... I said to him, well, I think I'll try and ask her out behind the bar. Meaning that was me. Because you didn't know her name, you referred to her as her. Yeah. And she said, no, no, can't do it this weekend because I'm working. So I said, about next weekend? So she said, right. <laughs> so then the following weekend we went out. And here we are married. And here we are, yeah, married. Yeah, we're married now. Yeah. Well, all the best and try and get him to do the nappy. It's nice to meet you, Kevin Martin. Let's welcome them. Here we go. Hi, Margaret. And in the centre. Nice to meet you. How are you? Well, first of all, we've got to establish exactly uh, whether you're married or not. Yep, we're married. Yeah. Yep, yeah. you're married. And any children? No, we're still working on that. You're still working on that, are you? And how long, how long have you been married, Peter? Yeah, seven years. I'm a slow starter. <laughs> <laughs> you a big smile on your face, Peter. Yeah. Yeah. And Margaret, what about you? Do you work? Yes, I work. I work in a boutique. In a boutique? The ladies. The ladies' boutique. Where are you from? Scotland. Scotland. I can hear the accent slightly there. Very quiet, aren't you? Well, Do you all talk quietly, Peter? Uh, not to me, no. <laughs> <laughs> you a Cockney boy or...? No, I'm from Kent. From, from Kent. Kent? Yeah. Well, sort Near of south-ish. Yeah. South so how yeah. does a boy from the south meet a Scottish lady? Oh, he's in the Navy and he was working up there. You're a Navy man, are you? Yeah, yeah, submariner. Yeah. Submariner? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yes. You on one of the big... <clears throat> I know you can't say much about these things. You on one of the great big things or the smaller ones? No, I was on the... Uh, I went from the smaller ones to the great big things. You're about to say what you were on then, weren't you? <laughs> yeah. And that's an official secret, isn't it? No, I can tell you what I'm on. I'm on the Valiant. But, Are you on uh, the Valiant? Yeah. yeah. So well, where is it at the moment? Uh, I can't tell you. Right? <laughs> <laughs> See? Now, let's get... No, so there's submarines, right? We've got the submarines. Yeah, I'm in the so, middle, middle lot of the submarines. And what do you actually do on the submarine? I'm the uh, TI, GTI on board. TI? So, yeah, that yeah. means a lot to you, doesn't it? Yeah. No, I don't know what it is. <laughs> well, go on, tell me, Peter. Well, I, I'm the one that uh, loads the torpedoes, fires the torpedoes, that sort of thing. Oh, him. You're yeah. him. Yeah. <laughs> Tintin. Yes, <laughs> I love Tintin. <laughs> ah, I didn't know that. That's your stage name, then. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Tintin, boys and girls. <laughs> hey. So, what, what, what do all the lads do with themselves, then, for two months on a boat? <laughs> they haven't even got anything to look at, have yeah. you? We get on with each other. If there's an argument starts, we all step in to stop it, you know, sort of. What? <laughs> do, do I, in the one little space you've got? Yeah. <laughs> You haven't got any space, I mean... Uh... That's what I mean. You have a row, you know. You Everybody can't help knows have a row, that. can you? Because you, you're about, that's about it, isn't it? You know. <laughs> you know, well, you you to, I'm going to bed now. Oh, <laughs> oh I think I'll go and have a bath. <laughs> I'll go, go for a walk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's exhausting me, that. <laughs> but you can try all those sort of things, can't you? Yeah, we, yeah we, uh, we can go to sleep as long as your, your mate gets out of the bed first, you know? <laughs> yes, I think we'll give this conversation a miss at the moment. Nice to meet you, Peter. Nice to meet you, Margaret. All the best. We'll see what you're doing in a minute, all right? Well done. Hi, Amai. Hi. How do you do? And Ethel, how are you? I'm OK. Nice to see you. All right, how are you? Oh, lovely. Oh, lovely. <laughs> 
Oh, you two friends, are you? Cousins. Eh? Cousins. 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 And where are you from? Atherton, near Manchester. Atherton, near Manchester. So that's everything at home then, eh? Aren't you now, sir? Eh? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know, eh? Hey? <laughs> oh, lovely to see you. How are you, Ethel? And, mate, what do you do, mate? What do you do? I'm retired. Retired, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah? Oh, now, what did you do before you retired? Oh, I've done all sorts. Worked in cotton mill. Cotton mill, yeah? Yeah, took papers round. Papers round? Yeah, worked in electrical assembly. Electrical assembly? Yeah. Shop assistant. Shop assistant. <laughs> Cuddly toy. A bit of this and a bit of that. <laughs> a bit of this and a bit of that. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Ethel? Oh, what about you? I started up as a reacher. A what? A reacher. <laughs> a reacher? A reacher. A reacher? Mm. Well, you were sick a lot. No! I don't know. It belongs to weaving. Right? It belongs to weaving. Oh, weaving! <laughs> It belongs to that. Well, you were reaching. In... Reaching. <laughs> Re reaching. Reaching. Yeah, OK. Yeah. Well, yeah, go on. And then I went on pit brew. Huh? I went on pit brew. On pit brew? <laughs> Are you English? <laughs> of course I am. On pit brew? Pit brew, yeah. Are you a pie pot? <laughs> Not a pie I'm a, pot. I'm a... You're not. Um, from, you're not from Gracie's land, our Gracie, are you? No. Sing as we go. Come on, you pie pot. That's all. Yeah. I love that accent. Oh, yeah. You're from about the Wigan. Well, Wigan. Yeah, yeah, Wigan. Wigan. Yeah, yeah. Wigan. Yeah. 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 Uh, I, I, I died in a club up there years ago. Posh side of Wigan. I was paid off. They gave me a fiver. <laughs> get that's... out and get reeking, they said. Scottish. What do I do that for? <laughs> Then I went to no, I went coma tenting. What? <laughs> coma tenting. Coma tenting. Coma. Coma. Tenting. Yeah. Tenting. Yeah, tenting. Tenting. Making after some comas. Oh, comas. You're comas. still on the weaving, are you? No, no, no. It's oh, different. Sorry, this, is before, this is before you, you get. This is before. This is before you get it weaving. Is it? Yeah. You coma tent it. Yeah. yeah. In card room. Then, what? In card room. <laughs> in card room. <laughs> So you're reaching, <laughs> Tom Tintin. I went up to the and then I went back again up to the Beautiful. We'd be sat here. <laughs> and then I finished up. What? I finished up taking milk. Taking milk? <laughs> taking milk out of the milk. You know, to use it over the milk. I know what a milkman is, yeah. Yeah, well, I'm a woman then. You're a milkman. You were a milkman? Milk woman. Milk woman, yeah. Mm -hmm. What happened then? Well, I mean, anything happened to you on your milk round or anything, Ethel? Well, <laughs> well, there are plenty of things. Go on. Go on. Well, I'll, I don't know, I'll just tell you this or not, though. No, you can tell me. Go on, love. Sorry. Well, there were one... <laughs> there were... <laughs> going down, you know, on the... Uh, going in back... Going up the back, like... Huh? Going up... Oh, in back. Up the back, yeah. In the Sorry, back. I thought. It's me. I've got a perforated ear. It's yeah. not your accent, don't worry. <laughs> Taking it like up to ki the kitchen door. Well, the toilet the were outside. Mm. The, the toilet. toilet were outside on a chap. So, what? Full <laughs> man. Many a time he used to sit on the toilet and you see me with his pants around his ankles. <laughs> <laughs> really? Mm. And he said, Good morning. Yeah, I'm sure you did it on purpose. <laughs> As you delivered the milk, yeah, yeah. What, it, you saw the bottom of his trousers. Ah, round his ankles. Round his ankles. And he was sort of... And he'd say good morning to you. Well, I said, yeah, he'd say good morning and pass on. <laughs> and what? Get out. Oh, part the yeah, I... Get out. <laughs> That's right, I thought you said, you said pass on, didn't you? I didn't say pass on. I didn't say... <laughs> I know you did, and I'm not making anything out of it, don't worry. You said pass on. Yeah, pass. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, anything else? Do you have just you good friends, are you? Yeah. She's yeah. wonderful, yeah, isn't she? Cousins. She's good, eh? Yeah, yeah you can all clear off. <laughs> <laughs> so, then, but now, what happened then? Well, uh, weekends we go in a uh, club, Paddy's Ump. <laughs> <laughs> Paddy's 
Paddyism. It's true. It's true. It's called Paddyism. What's called Paddyism? A club. Oh, you're not talking about the guy in the loo anymore. Oh, no. This is a social. I thought he had a name for it. Paddyism. It's now a social club. Oh, it's your, your, your social club, yeah. yeah. That's why I started in the yeah. social clubs. Yeah, well, that. You know, it's good training ground for oh, comedians it's... and things like that. Yeah. Well, mm. when I'll become one eventually. There's a bit of dancing and singing goes on, you know. It's you like do that. any of that? Any of the oh, dancing yeah. and yeah. singing? Yeah. 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 What do you do? Do you sing? Yeah, we both Oh, don't yeah. start encouraging them. <laughs> 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 yeah, we do. Yeah. 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 We start. sing together. Oh, do you? Yeah, What do you do? What number? What's your favourite number? Blackpool Bell. Huh? Blackpool Bell. Blackpool Bell. Mm. Go on then, off you go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the Blackpool Bell was a getaway train bound from the Northern Station. Ooh. A beautiful sight on a Saturday night bound for the illumination. <laughs> there were mothers and dads and girls and lads young and fancy free out for a laugh on the Golden Mile in Blackpool by the sea. The I remember very well, very well all the happy guys oh, yeah. aboard the Blackpool Bell. Black I remember the thousand miles Thousands. all aboard the Blackpool Line Whoa. and the songs we sang together on the Blackpool Bell. Oh. Well done. Play the game. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> well, I'm sure you'll agree they were great. Now, on with the show. Now, everybody's answered some questions. Uh, Kim is on the top arch, Margaret is in the middle, and Ethel's just about to strike a screen. Let's go and see what she's up to now. All right, Ethel. Oh, I am. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> yes. Electric mower. Oh, Electric mower. Oh, Going over. Oh, Don't you want it? No, we've no garden. You haven't got a garden? <laughs> well, you could have used it on our producer's head. Yeah. 150 pounds. Hundred and fifty quid there, you can buy yourself a bit of garden and mow now. Okay, right. <laughs> the fairer sex for you, Martin. Two. Two. Right, Two. Uh, what are the females of the following species more commonly known as? Dog. Bitch. Swan. Uh, What's a swan known as? A you. A what? A you. A you. <laughs> <laughs> if you get that together, you should be in a circus, I'll tell you that. <laughs> a swan. <laughs> What are you laughing at? Do you know? Ben, ben you yeah. got it right, that's it, OK. <laughs> Over you come, Margaret. There we are. All right, strike the screen. £175. Pounds. 175 Do you want to bank it or is there nothing on the next screen? What are you going to do? We'll bank it. The bank it, right, that's yours, OK. We'll go on to the next category, which is musicals for you, May. Musicals. Two, three, or four? Two, please. Two. From which musical does Younger Than Springtime come? Mm. Younger Than Springtime comes so from... Persistent. And for your second move, Oh, What a Beautiful Morning. What does it come from? Uh, oh, what Oklahoma. A Oklahoma's right. Two moves are yours. <laughs> Doing well, eh, Ethel? Ooh, hey, who'd have thought? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> two, there can't be any more than that, surely. Well, I was fine. well done. Well, you're still in front. Of the 60s for you, Martin. Two, three or four? Two again. This block of London flats collapsed in 1968. Uh, Roman Point. Ronan Point. Ronan Point, yeah. And which satirical magazine appeared for the first time in 1961? Private Eyes, right? Two moves are yours. OK. <laughs> All right, Kim, strike the screen. Off you go. Good luck. Garden statue. Oh. Oh, nice prize. Move on. No? Move on. Very expensive, you know. You sure? <laughs> hey? So I can make one. You can make one. Oh. <laughs> I can't. Designer outfit and the garden statue, that's yours. Oh, all right. Come on to the next category, which is for you, Peter. Fellows in song. Two, three, or four? Two, please. Who in the song comes marching home? Johnny. In the song, who is the singer just wild about? 
Who's the singer just won? Harry. Harry's right, two moves are yours. OK. <laughs> oh. A bit warm tonight. There we are. OK, Margaret, strike the screen. Ooh. Well, it's got one out of the way and you've lost nothing by doing that. We go on to the next category, which is ships for you, May. Ships. Three screens, two or three? Two, please. Two. This was sunk by an iceberg. <laughs> Titanic. This was abandoned on the ocean. Uh, Mary Celeste. The Mary Celeste is right, that's right. OK. <laughs> OK, strike the screen, Ethel. There you go. A limousine to a movie premiere. <laughs> oh, now, do you want to bank it? Yeah. OK, back with you now, Martin. Three screens, two or three questions. Sporting links is the category. Go for free. Go for free. Oh, you're making a race out of it. All right, link the sport to the player. Golf. Sandy Lyle. Football. <clears throat> Lineker. Tennis. Um, Jimmy Connors. That's right, three moves are yours. OK. <laughs> All right, OK. Now you've got a chance to go through here, Kim. Strike the screen. <laughs> Stratford Theatre Weekend. <laughs> A weekend at the Stratford Theatre. Going on? Right. Move on. You sure? OK, strike the screen. Good luck, Kim. <laughs> oh! You lost the Stratford Theatre weekend. We come on to the next category. We're back with you now, Peter. And it's famous rulers. How many did you want? Two, three or four? Two, please. Over which country did Ivan the Terrible rule? Russia. Over which country did Edward the Confessor rule? Scotland. Is wrong, I'm afraid. A chance for you to pick this up, May. Over which country did Edward the Confessor rule? England. That's right. The two moves are yours. <laughs> OK. Well done, Ethel. Strike the screen. A Concord trip. <laughs> you know, the situation we've got, we've got Kim at the very top there, one screen away from the end. Margaret's just on the halfway mark, and Ethel is down here on the main strike it lucky question, and May. Now, you've got to decide. There's that Concord trip, or you can answer the main strike it lucky question. You get it right, you keep the trip, and you go on to our jackpot final. If you get it wrong, you lose that trip, but you just wait your next turn. Now, what do you want to do? I'll go for it. You're going for it? They're going for it? Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. All right, OK, then. I'll ask you this question. You can confer as loud as you like. I'll ask you the question again, and then I must have your answer. Here we go. Uh, Christopher Timothy struck it lucky when he was cast as a vet in a long-running TV series. What is the name of the series? Christ Christopher Timothy struck it lucky when he was cast as a vet in a long-running TV series. What is the name of the series? <laughs> no, I, I must, I must no, have an answer, I'm afraid. No, I don't I'm sorry. Know it. No. I don't know sorry. It. No. Is he gone? No, I'm sorry, <laughs> the answer was all creatures great and small. There we are. Never mind, you lose the Concord right. trip. Let's That's give a nice round of applause. They went for it. There we are. Okay. okay. Come back to you now. Martin. Novel writers, who wrote that? Who wrote Hard Times? Charles Dickens. That's right, good guess. <laughs> and your second question, who wrote Cain and Abel? Who wrote Cain and Abel? Geoffrey Archer. Geoffrey Archer, that's yeah. right. Okay, well done. <laughs> OK, Kim, strike the screen. Here we go. There you go. £300. You want to bank that or what do you want to answer the main strike and lucky question? Okay. Answer the question. You want to bank it or answer the question? No, we've got the question. Here we go. The film National Velvet struck it lucky by bringing a pretty young actress to the fore. She went on to star as Cleopatra. Who is she? Elizabeth Taylor. Elizabeth Taylor. Elizabeth Taylor. You're going to answer tonight's final. Danny Pumpkin. Well done. There we go. OK, come, Margaret. Everybody, what you going away with you tonight? All right, now Margaret and Peter, I'll do first. You're taking away with you a bicycle, <laughs> uh, the Harrods hamper, and 175 pounds. Enjoy being with us. Thanks, Thanks, Peter. Thanks Let's give them a nice round of applause. All right, May and Ethel. Right now, you're taking away with you an electric mower. You're getting a, a limousine to take you to a movie premiere. Uh, of, of, all right, let's just take that. Have a lovely evening. That a CD player. If you've got any grandchildren, give them to that. £150, and I'm going to break all the rules because you were so smashing. You know the Concorde flight? Yeah, I've got probably got... Oh! Oh! And Kim and 
Martin, you've got 100 gallons of petrol, a garden statue, a designer outfit. Each and every one of you will take home a copy of the game so you can play that at home. They've been smashing tonight. We'll have a great time. But let's take these two on to the final. Let's see what you can do. Well done, Peter Margaret. See you later. Bye bye. All right, Kim, you like to stand there and face me. Martin, you like to stand beside your wife. All right, here's how we're going to play the game. You play the game as you did before, but this time you play the game horizontally and vertically. I'll ask you which move you want to make. You shout out top, middle or bottom. If you look at the screen there, now you can see we've got ten arrows, ten questions and ten hotspots. If you go for our top money tonight of £3,000, you cannot hit any more than two hotspots. £2,000, no more than three. £1,000, no more than four. If you go for our top money and you fail to get right the way across, we give you £300 for every successful move you make. £200 for the £2,000, £100 for the £1,000. Before you make your mind up, the computer will now jumble them all up. That's it, they've gone. 1,000, 2,000, or 3,000 pounds? They're going for free. They're going for the 3,000. Let's press the best. Have you come, Kim? All right, you know how to go across. All right, just follow me, Martin. Just stand slightly behind your wife there. OK, top, middle, or bottom for your first 300. Where are you going? Top. top, top. The top one for the first 300. Come along. Yes, we're on the way. Over you come. Oh. Don't stop the game, you'll have to let it go. Um, now, what's happened, obviously, there's a computer fault there. It's, no, seriously, it's jumped over to the other one. We'll have to give it to you, so you've already got £600. Pounds, OK? Now, that, that is the first time, and I'm sure Thames Television will be pleased if it's the last. No, that £600 up, you've got no option. Top, middle or bottom, where do you want to go? Bottom. Bottom. Go for the bottom. The bottom one for 900 Ooh! Got your back, didn't it? There we are. OK, £900 on this one. Top, middle or bottom? Where do you want to go? Top, middle or bottom? Top. Where are you going? Top. The top one for 900 Come along. Oh, it's a question. OK. Marty Wilde wrote the play The Importance of Being Earnest. True or false? False. False. It's Oscar Wilde. That's it. OK, £900. Over come. Top, middle or bottom? Where do you want to go? Mm -hmm. middle. middle. The middle one for... This is for £1,200. Richard Claderman is primarily famous for playing the banjo. True or false? False. It's a piano, that's right. You're on £1,200. Over you come. Here we go. Top, middle or bottom? Where do you want to go? Top, middle or bottom for £1,500. Middle again. Middle again. The middle one again for £1,500. Yes! Well done. OK. Top, middle or bottom for £1,800. Top, middle or bottom? Bottom. The bottom one for £1,800. Come along. Yes! Well done. For 2,100, top, middle or bottom? 2,100. Top, 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 top. The top one for 2,100. Ooh! You're back to 1,800. There's two moves to go. That's all your hot spots gone. You've got 1,800, so you're, you're more than... I nearly went there. You're more than safe. OK, top, middle or bottom for 2,100. Top again. The top one again for 2,100. Yes! That's it. All right, now, just come right away over. Come here, Martin. This is it. For the jackpot for three thousand pounds, it's either the top one, it's the middle one, or the bottom one. Oh, for yeah. the jackpot, middle, hey, middle, the middle one for the jackpot. Come on! Oh, I don't believe it. Bad luck. Let's give a nice round of applause. Over you come. Well done. Let's tell you what you before we let's have a look at the screens. Let's see what they all were. There they are. Oh. Oh, God, you've only got the question at the end there. Right, let's tell you what you're taking away. You've got 100 gallons of petrol, a garden statue, the designer outfit, and you're taking away with you tonight £2,100. Until we see you again sometime, good night, God bless. All right, good night. Thank you.